We are Backblast, and we are from Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. So, uh, easiest way to describe how we met, Dan and I grew up in Jersey together. We are cousins. Uh, I moved out here about five years ago to join Dan. Since then, we met Marcos, who's about two blocks away from Dan. Then Dan and I went to a Slipknot Lamb of God show, and we literally ran into Joe <laughs> in the mosh pit. We met him, and then the last piece of the jigsaw was Adam, and since then, we've been rocking out. So again, I'm Chris. I play the drums. Um, I've always been interested in music. Music has always been playing, uh, starting from Motown in the oldies, and I just moved my way on up. Constantly got a beat in my head. Uh, I tried guitar. Definitely not for me. I have small fingers. So I went to the drums, and uh, I haven't stopped. <laughs> Again, I'm Adam, I play guitar. I uh, really got into music. My dad was a big classic rock fan, so I listened to a lot of the original, I mean, I guess you'd call it, the original heavy metal bands like Deep Purple and Black Sabbath and all that. When I hit about 14, I just decided, you know, hey, I want to play guitar, let's do this. And I've been playing for the last 15 years. I'm Dan, uh, I do lead vocals. I've been singing, uh, playing guitar for about 12 years now. Uh, I started off doing acoustic comedy, actually, and then happened to fall into a metal band uh, here in Virginia. And uh, from there, it was simple as just keep on practicing, and just getting heavier. I would say my influences would be anything from Sabbath, Dio, Lamb of God, um, even the Beatles. So a whole bunch of different bands. I'm Joe. Uh, I play bass. And my music career, I guess, started in sixth grade when I played the clarinet and uh, decided that that ultimately was not the instrument I wanted. And I started to get interested in the guitar, but I felt everybody plays guitar. And I don't know what it was that drew me to the bass. It was when I was about 19, my mother asked me, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, I want a bass guitar. She was like, well, that's out of left field, but okay, son, sure. And been playing for about the past 10 years. My name is Marcus. I started playing when I was about 10 nine uh, back in Argentina and uh, I just took a, a classes for a year and then I left it uh, I had the guitar always around me but never purposely grabbed it and uh, learned until just a few years ago and uh, I met them and uh, we got pretty serious pretty serious I would say so as a band we're the one thing that we really pride ourselves on is that we're an extremely structured and organized band so Whenever, say, Adam or Marcos brings a riff to the table, we'll sit down, kind of dissect the actual riff itself, see how it would fit from a structure piece and how we would set things up. Um, from there, individually, everybody's going to work on their parts, but we all work really well together as far as um, r really collaborating, say, like, okay, well, Joe, he, he has his bass line, but, you know, it's, it's really just kind of one layer on top of another, being able to take that and make it its own individual parts. We really are... Um, very organized, very structured. I mean, the structure is the biggest part of this band. Absolutely. Um, it's just making sure that from a writing piece that we're not just rushing to make sure that, hey, we finish the song, um, that we make it the best song that not only that we'll enjoy, but everybody else will enjoy yeah. as well. Honestly, our, our favorite one is actually our new single that we just came out with this weekend. It's called Stand Down. It's really powerful. It's driving guitar. Drums behind it. The vocals are great. I love them. And uh, honestly, I've been listening to it nonstop. Well, what led us to where we're at? Um, there was kind of a, uh, a transition. At first we were uh, hard rock. And then uh, once Adam came in with his, <laughs> his very powerful style and punchy riffs, we kind of just naturally went to metal. Um, I, it's almost like a throwback to some of the old school metal, like Black Sabbath, um, Ozzy, Dio, and a mixture. Uh, some of the newer, it's like uh, Seven Dust, Mudvayne. Um, so we're kind of, we're not trying to sound like any particular band or any particular genre. Hopefully in the end, someone's going to say, you know what, I think they sound like Backlast. So that, that would be great if that's, if someone could say, you know, we sound like Backlast. That would be, that would make us feel pretty good. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, for us to really feel successful, I mean, we already feel pretty successful with yeah. what we're doing. And you know, how the music's turning out, how everything's coming together. But I think we'd feel really successful when we're, you know, touring cross country with other bands opening for us. You know, we're headlining the entire thing. Yeah, you can find uh, our website and our music itself, um, where we're gonna be playing in the future. You can find it at our official website, uh, backblastmusic.com. 
You can also find us on Facebook, uh, Reverb Nation, Twitter, any major social media outlet, and any major um, online distributor to actually find our songs itself to purchase for download. We just had a new single released. It's called Stand Down. You can find it at our website, backblastmusic.com, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, any major uh, online retailer. Uh, hope you enjoy it and check it out. It's heavy. <laughs>